This week, stargazers got to see spectacular views of the strawberry full moon all across the world. We're going to talk about that in just a sec because that's just the beginning of yes. what this month has to offer. Our friend and astronomer Jason Kendall is here to give a preview of what to look forward to in the evening sky. And Jason, thanks for being back. Very good to be you here. You know, Al made a good point. They need to like invent some glasses that you just put them on, and it just shows you where everything is located uh, actually, in they space. Do. Google Glass has some apps for that too. Is, oh, which there, is you, really there you go. There you go. All right, so <laughs> strawberry moon. Okay. Yes. Uh, so. Uh, Yesterday, a couple of days. Yep. Yesterday, we showed a pinkish moon. Oh. So, how does the moon actually get pink? It kind of doesn't. A oh. strawberry moon is actually just a is a nomer. It's the name of the first full moon in June, and it was a. Uh, it comes about because of the Algonquin tribe used it as their way of determining when to bring in the strawberries. So, what caused all these different colors? We saw some pinks and some oranges. Well, as the light from as when you look at the moon that's getting close to the horizon, either moonset or moonrise, mm -hmm. the light from the su from the moon gets refracted away, and you only see the red light. So, it has a reddish tinge, and all the blue light gets scattered into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, this summer. It is a, a triangle in, in yes, the stars. Yes, the summer triangle. It's my favorite thing to talk about because you see it in the summer all summer long. There are three beautiful bright stars, Deneb, Vega, and Altair, which are, which are all up in the sky all summer long, and they form a beautiful big triangle that's easy to see, and everyone can see it from anywhere in the sky. And all the sorts country. of stuff gets lost in there, oh, too, Oh, gosh, right? yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. All right, what about the uh, conjunction happening in late June? What is the conjunction well, of what's happening? Well, the conjunction happening? in June 20th, uh, the uh, Venus, Jupiter, and the moon will be really close in the sky at sunset. So way at sunset, look about 8.30 at night at the, in the la latter part. And as the month goes on, Jupiter and Venus will get closer and closer and closer in the sky. And finally, on June 30th, a really tight conjunction of uh, Venus and Jupiter will happen. They'll be so close in the sky, they'll look like one star. Mm -hmm. wow. And it's really quite cool. And wow. it looks great in the it's telescope. It's got to be bright, too. It's really yeah. bright. Kind of really like bright. Schoolhouse Rock conjunction. Yeah. <laughs> conjunction. <laughs> junction. Junction. Okay, and you're heading to a star park. Yes, up in yes, Pennsylvania? yes. Up in northwestern Pennsylvania. I've gone for the last bunch of years. It's called the Cherry Spring Star Party. It's a dark sky park. It's a beautiful place. Hundreds and hundreds of astronomers with really big telescopes. I, I'm taking mine out. My RV and my wife are we're going to go camping. They stay there for a few nights, and it's really dark skies. See the Milky Way without any effort at all. Wow. Mm -hmm. Take out your big telescope. Yep. Oh, boy. Here we, here we go. Here we go. Jason Kendall, thank, thank you so you. much. And I apologize. Oh, what? Uh, what? I, I he do. said he, that's what he said. I do. <laughs>